wonder if that isn't a little bit of foreshadowing. <laughs> Sigh. Why did he have to pick Reen? <clears throat> he oh, better not be giving him any funny ideas. Oh, like you don't have a crush on him. And Emma, he, I'm sure that isn't the case. <laughs> I'd feel a bit more at ease if you focused more on the reins, though. <laughs> Poor Emma. I do like the Here's animation the of their braids and their hair flopping around. Here's the thing. Grandpa disappears for five years. Rides, sits double with, not his granddaughter. Wonder if there's something. I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on. Neither do I. Most of the time. And it does look very nice. This is it is such a pretty game. Mm -hmm. It really is. Mm -hmm. I mean they're and fun to play anyway, like but when they look they... pretty too. Yeah. And as someone who's a rider, horse is also not here. Mm-hmm. Canter. Yep. I like to canter on horses. But I haven't been able to do it in a long, long time. Anyway, so we have Gwen, mm -hmm. which seems like should be, you know, I'm used to like Gwen and some characters, Gwynifer and Gwendolyn and all that. This is just Gwen. Um, I heard she recently started working at your dormitory. That's right. I haven't had too much time to get to know her, but she seems really skilled at what she does. Oh, she is very much so, but more importantly, She's a real cutie. She always has that lovely reserved <laughs> air, but there's a playful side to her too. Uh, I wish she'd sign on as my personal maid. That'd be the life. Yeah. But that Emma girl is really nice too. She's got those glasses. That hair you want her to let down. Okay, this is disturbing. Oh. And she's um. class press material at to boot. There's a smoldering homeroom uh -huh. hottie if I ever saw one. Oh boy. Oh. I admit you didn't prepare me for this. <laughs> did you want him to? <laughs> no, well. It's funnier that he did. Yeah, That's it's just funnier that he didn't. Funnier I, that he I'm, did. I'm just teasing Mitch. Come on, you oh. know you agree with me. <laughs> well, I can't really say that I disagree with you, but thinking, Why are you entertaining this? thinking, um, if you don't mind my asking, why did you never tell Elisa that you were here? Grandpa's surprised. Hmm. Tell me, Reen, what kind of girl do you see her as? Uh oh. Um. Uh, well, <coughs> I'd say she's a really hard worker. In a great many respects. Oh, I have no doubt of it. She's good looking. This is Grandpa. <laughs> She's good looking, polite, as well mannered as any noble's daughter, intelligent, and that all comes naturally to her. It's not some persona <laughs> she forces on herself. This is what Granddad says. Yeah, I'm amazed at how effortless she makes it all seem. And yet, she has a habit of trying to resolve everything without relying on anyone else for support. This is true. I'm sure it hasn't escaped the notice of a canny young man like yourself. It does uh, feel like that sometimes. Yeah. Oh wait. She's is kind. Ah, uh, probably, because that's what Elisa was worried about. Uh, she's <laughs> kind, and her sense of duty compels her to always see things through. But she always keeps everything bottled up. Like, she never wants to let on to anyone that she needs help with a problem. I'm Elisa. R. From Ruhr. It's not like I'm trying to make a big deal out of it or anything. It's just, if everyone knew, it'd make things awkward between us. And I don't want that. <coughs> I have a feeling the relations between her mother and I caused her to end up that way. Or, to be more specific, the conflict between the two of us. Rena's just, what? Shocked. That's why I didn't tell her where I was. 
but I'll leave it up to her to fill in the details about that. I'm sure that once the two of you are a bit closer, she'll tell you on her own. Green sweating. A bit closer? I, uh, I have a feeling there's a critical misunderstanding going on here. Oh, is that so? I thought there was a little something going on between you two after seeing your name come up on in one of her letters. Oh. Well, we did have that unfortunate accident back at the start of the year. But that's all it was. We eventually got it sorted out, and nothing's really happened since. An accident, eh? Did you mm -hmm. accidentally collide with her on your way to school? Causing her to drop the toast she held between her sweet lips? Oh my goodness. Oh. And as the dust cleared, did the two of you oh. find yourself sprawled on the ground in an unlikely yet heart racing position? There's wow, she wrote like all that, that in a letter. <laughs> oh, that's there's a reason I don't do rom com. <laughs> and this is what Reen yeah. says. He says that's a really oddly specific question. <laughs> but I don't know what oh, kind of heart racing is, position you are. Oh. And now he's remembering. Shocking uh, moment. Um, Mitch, you knew this was coming. Mitch. So. <laughs> Grandpa's like, so, something really did happen, didn't it? <coughs> you know he's saying it like that. Uh -huh. He has to make uh -huh. everything so awkward. Exactly, he so is. Yeah, now, I, just yeah. tell old Gwyn here all about it. I want every last juicy detail. <laughs> oh, no. No. Look at Absolutely he, not. Well, Lisa's looking at him and she says, Grandfather, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot she could hear him. <laughs> Poor oh, Elisa. No. Well, Reed's horses was going closer. And oh, she's like, stop. Dear. I beg dear. of you, please stop. Hey, isn't that... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh okay. What? It's the other... Hello, it's the blue-haired girl. Academy students. <laughs> the one on the flying white robot thing. I don't know what it is yet. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I wonder what they're doing all the way out here. Looks like things are gonna start getting interesting. <laughs> I want to know what the deal is with the things with her hands. I'm assuming it has something to do with controlling the silver object. Okay, let's get this mission started. I like her hair though; it's cute. Sheesh, Gramps and the others can be so unreasonable sometimes. Hmm. Gramps and the others can be so unreasonable sometimes. Well, she was talking to people on the radio when we first saw her. And we all just stand around watching. That night, the people of the settlement held a banquet at the elder's house for us, Gwyn, and Norton. Back at the yurt. And we got the kids and the rest of the family. And a really uh, yummy looking meal. I don't know. As long as it's not something gross. That one looks kind of squiggly. I don't know about that one. I don't know what we'd do without you, Gwen. Here's to you, my friend. And to you. Come on, La Lacken. This booze isn't going to drink itself. Yes, yes. I can still hardly believe it. Finding the famous Gwyn Reinford out in the sticks like this. You know him then? Of course. He seized on the opportunities of the Orbal Revolution to make Reinford the industrial powerhouse it is today. Okay, I'm back. And it's only gotten bigger since his daughter took over. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it was kind of like, oh my gosh, that's so funny, but oh, so <laughs> awkward. Um, 
I, I understand that it's funnier, but like unexpected. Shall yeah. We say. Yes, it was unexpected. Example. At least quite to that extent, perhaps. But well, not that it couldn't know, have been much worse. I understand. There's a di there's a, a very big difference between hyping up your grandkid and talking about her luscious lips. <laughs> yes. And how good looking she is. I was. <laughs> he was directly pouring water. Yeah, maybe. So anyway, yeah. Eusus is going to throw his thoughts into this conversation now. Uh, the Reinford Company thing. company was originally an arms manufacturer, making their name on firearms and such. They underwent a massive expansion of their lineup and started working on orbital weapons and railway projects. I suppose that's what it must have looked like to the nobility. But the company does business all across the continent, not just domestically. Gwyn has a refreshingly international outlook for an Erebonian businessman. I see. I knew he was a keen man. That's not a word you use very often. But I didn't realize he was that famous. The real mystery is, why would someone... Or why someone would walk away from that in the first place. Some people say he got ill and had no choice but to stand down. But look at him now. He's the picture of health. Probably because he worked himself to death, practically. So maybe there's yeah, some truth to that old rumor that. after all. Oh? What do you hmm. mean? Uh, just something I heard a long time ago. No real proof of it. And we at the Imperial Chronicle aren't in the business of printing baseless speculation. I'm and sure. Emma peeks up. Alisa? Oof. I think my eyes are bigger than my stomach. I'm going to go out and get a little fresh air, okay? Alright. So Lisa's leaving. Hmm. And Reen is noticing. Alisa? Alisa? 